This episode is brought to you by Zazzle.com. Millions of creators, buyers, and sellers, billions of products. Use our code EVERYDRINK10, save 10% off orders of $50 or more. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Camp Granada. This recipe comes from some guy, 87, who obviously hates me. No pants Friday, before I forget. Um, I got pants on, though. But it is hot. I should take them off. This has Campari, which we've seen in the past. We didn't exactly enjoy, but that's okay. It's always good to try again. I didn't, I didn't like Merlot the first time I drank it, either. I had a continue to finish the bottle not all one so night. you think you're actually gonna like this eventually eventually i think i think it could be done it's just you gotta get the right recipe once you get the right recipe and you start to like that recipe you can change it up until you can finally get more campari into your lifestyle so we've got campari an ounce and a half we're gonna do half an ounce thank goodness they put it in ounces this time of grenadine we're gonna do two ounces of grapefruit juice as if this isn't already bitter we're gonna do one ounce of pineapple juice and three ounces of seven up. This is gonna be our topper. And this is what's gonna to totally make this drink change. It's gonna like bring it to down to earth. We're also gonna use a maraschino cherry. I'll show so you, you that hope. later. So I hope, because I have nothing else to wish for. We'll shake everything but the seven up. Well, Gosh. you have plenty to wish for. You just, you know, going on simple terms. Right. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, come on. You can wish for like a million dollars. That's true. You're just going to wish that, you know, 7-Up <laughs> helps you drink. You know what? It's probably better than a million dollars. Because, um... Come on. You know you can't wish for a million dollars. What movie were you able to ever wish for a million dollars where bad things didn't happen? It always goes bad. It's like... It's like when you used to... It's like when you used to play Dungeons and & Dragons and you wish for things. You gonna go to Purgatory? Lost? Like Hurley? Mm. He won all that money and... That's true. No, I was thinking... If somebody wishes for a million dollars and they get a million dollars, it falls from the sky and kills them. Like, because it's so heavy. A million dollars. Like Pink dollars. Panther? Like Pink Panther, yes. The what? safe episode? Oh. Like, I see money is in your future. Wow. Falls on them. You know, most people <laughs> probably haven't watched that since the 60s or whenever. And you're probably making well, yourself look dated, but then again, we're most watching it on Netflix. don't have a four-year-old that likes Pink Panther. Our four-year-old is a fan of the five-minute Pink Panther episodic content on Netflix. Maybe I should get Netflix to sponsor us. Oh, just a thought. Or Pink Panther. Huh? Or Pink Panther. Thinking that's over. I don't think we're going to find too many. Uh, uh, I think they already do insulation. Oh, that's true. I don't need any more insulation. It's already hot enough. All right, let's shake it up. Okay. I could smell the bitterness from a mile away. The bugs? Huh? The bugs? No, the... The... Everything. Bugs. Bugs? You're going to stick on that, aren't you? <laughs> Crushed up bugs to get this to look that way. Yeah, that does look kind of sexy, though, no? Don't know. Can't see. Top seven up. Oh! oh, oh stay down. Yeah, looks kind of cool. It's got a pink look to it. <sighs> a little higher. She's going to blow. There we go. Top of the Maris Skinner Cherry. And there you go. The Camp Granada. Now, some shows would stop right there, but no, not us. We're drinking it up. Even though you want to. Sometimes. Okay, that's the Camp Granada. <laughs> it's great. It's on mm. everydaydrinkers.tv. Awesome. Actually, it smells like a strawberry candy. Nope. It smells like citrus and Campari. Mmm. Mmm. There it goes. Takes a few seconds. And it dries out your throat. Okay. 
I have a sense for the Campari. Tastes like pineapple juice, little bit of cranberry juice, some sweetness in there, but... Cranberry or grapefruit? Grapefruit. What the heck? Grapefruit. Here's the deal. Right when you start to get that grapefruit bite on the edge of the tongue, the Campari, I swear, it rips right down the center and down your throat. You get like a dry, bitter bite. But the, the sides are still kind of getting that like sweet sour thing going on. So <laughs> the Campari is like, screw you, grapefruit juice. Right, it's like right it down the center. So try that. See if you get them right down the center, you get a little dry bite. And it comes, the first couple sips, you get the little 7-Up thing. You're like, oh, that's not so bad. But then it, it dries out a little. You take the next sip, it dries out a little more. Let's go for a big, big hit. Really appreciate it. Same thing. Almost inv invokes the gag reflex, almost. It's just such a good, sharp bite right down the center of the tongue. Sour drink. I would tell you right now, this is a much better Campari style recipe than the last one. The last one was so intense. You just, a single sip, you're like, ooh, this one you could put down because it's got a, it's got more flavor to it. It's not just 100% Campari, but it does not forget that it's in there. It's like, I'm here, don't forget about me. So if you can take it and you want to try this drink, if you got some Campari hanging around or you got a friend who has it, have them make this recipe first to really get a, a an idea because if you have this you'll know if you're going to like the next the americano or any of the other drinks so there you go i'm your host eric schomer check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv sour right there we're teaching you how to drink Why did you only put for the first person's name and I have to do all the rest of the card? I don't know. If you gave me cards with no lines on them, okay? <laughs> Why do you sound like you have a mouthpiece? You're going to do that during the show? You're going to talk like that? Yeah. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. And then here we go.